everyone, it's Rob again from Aquablast Fit, and I'm here to show you the Aquablast Tether. So the Aquablast Tether is a way to control the drift of Aquablast in your swimming pool. Because what happens is when you punch or kick Aquablast in your pool, it will just keep drifting in one direction, and it won't stop until it hits another wall. So with the Aquablast Tether, you put this harness on, and it has a super springy tether on it, so when you hit or kick the, the bag, it will spring right back to you for more action. So it's a lot of fun to use it. So I'm just going to show you how to install or put on the Aquablast Tether and how to set it up and put it on your bag. So the first thing you do is you get the harness out. And there's three components in the bag. There's a short tether. Oops. There's a short tether with a blue marking. And this one's good for high intensity exercise. So when you're using this particular uh, one, they're all hooked up onto the harness. Let me take this one off. So this one's the shorter one. It gives you a much higher intensity workout because the bag will spring back faster. There's a longer one which has a black band on it. This tether is a little bit longer and it just stretches, super stretchy. And it just it gives you a little bit more time to plant your feet in place and, and get things uh, situated. Now here's the harness. And the way the harness works is it fits over your head. So you first get it oriented. First of all, you have to find the little clip. This is it right here. This little clip here allows you to hook up the tethers to the device. So you find that and put it in the front of, the, of yourself. And we'll see if we can get this oriented. It's just a little cockeyed here. Here we go. So you want to have the, the little D-link in front, and you have this little diamond webbing strap that goes over your back. So what you'll do is you'll take this and put your hands through the straps, through the webbing, making sure that this D-link is in the front, and you just place this diamond piece over your small of your back, right up at the top. And then you tighten out down the harness. Let's do that. And you're ready to go. And then you can adjust it and you know, to your preference. But the, the point is to have this tether up nice and high because when you're in the water, you're going to be down right about your neck level, just like that. And so the, the harness is up nice and high, and the tethers are made of this uh, latex tubing. And nice thing about this latex tubing is that it floats. So when you're using the bag, the tether will actually float and stay out of your way. So your arms won't get tangled in it, your legs won't get tangled in it. And the super stretchy latex tubing is a lot of fun when you're actually using the bag. So now, once you have the harness on, the next step is to hook the tether up to the bag. And my bag has drifted away. Oh, it's on oh, the other here, side I'm of the pool. So, <laughs> okay. I have a little assistance here from my friend Kim. And uh, we're going to go get the bag and get it set up here in just a second. All right, thanks. Okay, so once you have the harness on, the next step is to hook up the tether. Now I'm going to use the short tether so you can see how this works. Now you can hook this up to either one of the handles. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll take the, 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 the strap and run it through underneath one of the handles and then take the carabiner or the snap hook, whatever you want to call it, and run that through, the, through that piece of webbing and then just kind of tighten it down and fits just like that. So it'll look sort of like that when you're done. And then the final step is to hook it up to your harness and you're ready to rumble. So now, when you punch or kick this bag, it springs right back to you for more action. You punch it, kick it. You can come in, Sophia. Come on in. Uh, I see she's trying to figure out what it is you're doing. <laughs> yeah. You punch it, kick it. And you can do all the exercises with the bag while it's 
dipped in the water. And it's a lot of fun. Kick it, makes these nice little thumping noises. So you know you planted it in the sweet spot. Besides that, you can actually, even with the tether hooked up, you can still do all the lifting exercises. You can do curls. And there's handles on the bottom of the bag. So you can take those handles and do different types of core exercises, swinging it back and forth. You can do different types of leg lifts. Just like that. And there's a tossing it side to side. <clears throat> and the other fun thing to do is just throw it like a medicine ball. You take the bag and throw it, it comes right back to you. So that's it. That's the Octoblast tether and how that works. And what else? I think that's about it.